and beautiful souls i had an aha moment and i thought i'm gonna share this with you guys you know um various things happened and it was actually one one a wonderful person i know um who is going through a, a lot of challenge and by asking questions and is there anything else I could I, I could do to help myself? It's like the focus is on what can I do to, so it helps me to feel better, to have more money, to get out of the situation which I'm in. <clears throat> Excuse me. And literally, we're 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 standing here and made me think for us to feel better or do things we would absolutely love to do, to face the challenge, to go and exercise if we really don't feel like it, uh, to do something we really would love to do. Make yourself feel wonderful first. We're looking for things that will make us feel better. How about we feel better before we do the things we would love to do? We must be in the vibration of an absolute happiness and then deal with things now daily things you know imagine your clients you know like some um if you have a bomb you're being bombarded by emails or uh, whatever you're doing a work don't respond to the emails unless you're in a vibration of feeling fantastic because the energy you're sending to that person is coming with that email now the person opens the email the email might be written literally well in in you know like a presentable but the energy is with it and now that energy is around that person who you're not really helping to make the right decision by that energy or they don't connect to it the same way somebody upsets us about something or something happens outside and it really challenges us and we're looking like oh i need to do i need to meditate to feel myself calmer no make yourself feel calmer because you haven't decided for it you're looking for external things to make you feel better but you haven't decided for feeling better what does feeling better means to you one negative thought change it with five positive if you notice what you're noticing because actually that is the key the awareness of having the awareness of something happened okay how am i feeling right now i'm feeling really upset you know, I have an awareness of the feeling. Now reverse it. What makes me feel happy? What does happiness mean to you? Mean to me? Mean to someone else? But go back to not looking for outside sources. Look within yourself. This is an absolute key, ultimate key to everything. I want to change myself. Statement. We make, many of us make. However, People resist change. We like to change the results. So we need to learn how we can do things be a better or greater way so we can actually change the results. And that is what we don't resist. But if somebody says, people just simply, we resist change. If somebody wants to advise something that will change us, we will re reject it most of the time subconsciously. Going back to inner power inner love inner self you connect to your god in you i've got my my great friend and accountability and, and a vibration body and it, you know um uh, norman he's actually introduced me a book by reverend ike and i love it it talks about god in you because it's the universe but you have to play your part play it focusing on yourself you cannot change anything around you, any circumstances, but go back to how can I now change myself? So not change myself. Okay, I'll take it back. Go easy, go general, go, how can I feel happy now? And then I will respond the email. I first change the vibration, the where, which actually gets you back to responding, not reacting. Because if I react immediately to something that makes me really cross, what am I going to create? I'm creating more of this energy. So I get more of it because I attract it. So again, just stop, think positive thoughts, feel amazing and then respond. If you have to leave it till next day, do. If it's very challenging, I push things away for three days and then I readdress them. 
sometimes many things in a process actually change themselves. Happy, beautiful day. And if you have any questions, you can always let me know and I'll see you tomorrow.